right welcome back to the channel guys and welcome back to a brand new video and another video on um how to set up different stuff in kick um this one specifically is going to be on um setting up tts and a few other little brilliant features that botrix actually has um implemented into their bot very recently um if you haven't uh, you don't know about obviously setting up bot ricks then make sure you go back and uh, watch my previous video i'll drop the link in the description below um just in case you haven't missed that and you don't know how to set up bot ricks um first and foremost once you have set up bot ricks i'm going to let you know how to do all of that all of the bits and pieces in between um for bot ricks to make your basically your stream look as best as it possibly can do we're basically the only bot that's actually um being able to be used at the moment and it's actually a really good bot once you know how to use it um but yeah hope everyone's having a great easter and uh let's crack on with the video right guys let's get started so um first and foremost i'm going to be running through um tts in itself okay so switch over scenes here okay so First and foremost, you are going to need Google Chrome or uh, Microsoft Edge. Now, for me personally, I was originally going with Google Chrome because that was what previous videos had taught me and, and what everyone was saying to use. So the, the bot ricks actually worked properly. It is now, since TTS has just been uploaded and um, you're able to actually implement it onto bot ricks, they're now saying for the best version not that you can't use it on chrome but for the best version of it uh, and the most clearest and non-robotic uh, voices for tts the best method is to use uh, microsoft edge which is why i've now switched back to microsoft edge as my default browser i already had it downloaded on my computer anyway um if you haven't then make sure you do um or alternatively try the exact same scenario with google chrome and see what you think of the tts itself on google chrome but all of the links for all of what I'm now about to say is going to be in the description below. Um, you're going to have the Botrix extension, which is what you're seeing here. You're going to have the Google Chrome X, um, browser, which you can download. And obviously, you'll have, you can go and search for the Microsoft one, uh, Microsoft Edge one as well, if you haven't got it. I think it's implemented on every single PC at the moment, or it used to be anyway. Um, now, Here's the trickiest part of the whole video. You need to have Botrix extension added. Like you can see here, right in the top right hand corner, you need to add it up here as an extension. If you right click on um, extensions or the app on Google, you can then add it on your Microsoft uh, browser as well. So as you can see here, I'm on this is Google Chrome download page, but this is on a Microsoft Edge um, browser, okay? So I'm gonna get rid of this because I'm gonna have this in the description. This is the, 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 the extension that you need. That's in the description as well. Once you've done it properly, it will show up in the top right hand corner here and it will ask you if you want to add it as an extension. What you need to do is just press yes and it will then show you an icon up here which you can then manage the extension however you wish to, okay? Now, what you'll then do, once all of that is complete, as I've told you in previous video, you do need to have your creator dashboard open when you're running your stream for all of these alerts to work. So make sure that is, is um, a must for you because none of these will work unless you have it open, which is why you can see here I've got my dashboard, okay? so. Once you've done that, click on the other extension, which the, the Botrix um, URL in the description as well. And this will take you to this page here where you'll see alerts, which are these. You have your widgets, which I'm going to go for in a second. And you have your chat bot. Now, we're going to go straight into the, the modules part of it. If you go over to modules, you'll see here it says voice messages. This is your TTS command. This is how I've got my setup. I don't use Twitch anymore. I don't stream on Twitch or Trivo. So I've only got kick activated because I don't want anything else going off in the background and duplicating. 
So make sure if you only want this for kick, that that is the only one that you have ticked. And these are, oh, these are the settings. My battery's just gone on my mouse. How unprofessional of me. These are the settings that you're going to want. So just copy them. I mean, it's down to you if you want to um, go with the exact same settings. I'm using it so only our followers can use the TTS because I don't want um, people spamming. And I know obviously you can receive that with followers as well. So this is down to your discretion on what you think is best for your stream. But at the moment, playing around with it, I'm going to be testing it this week and, and just using it for followers. But if it gets out of control, then I'll obviously change it you can change it from user to subscriber vip and ogs which is absolutely brilliant and um, you can have a little delay on it so that one person has a 15 second delay before they can type it again and i've limited it to 75 characters so it doesn't come up with a load of different um things and, and go on for absolutely ages and, and basically just upset one everyone in the stream um if you copy and paste this, which is right here, the uh, dollar sign with the sender in brackets, and then put says after it, and just copy that into this into this little template here. Down to you what you want to do for the blacklisted uh, words and stuff. I haven't done anything or usernames uh, as, of, as of yet, so they can't use it. You can ban certain people from not using it, which is good. Um, obviously type your name how you want the actual bot to say your name. And then you have um, what the actual command is going to be in your chat. I've obviously got exclamation mark TTS. And then it's down to you what volume you want. I'm going to go and confirm that. You then confirm down here. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to work. So this is what... Um, this is what it should sound like. Slugsy on kick says hello everyone on kick there you go and that is how to set up tts very plain and simply now going into and, and obviously if there's any um as as you'll see in my other videos if you've got any problems with these either jump into discord and ask questions because i do have a section for it for kick alone um or join the discord and then you'll be able to message me directly uh via dms and discord or just message in and comment below if you have any problems and i'll try and get back to you as soon as i can i'm pretty frequent because i usually have the updates on my phone so i'm quite snappy with the replies for you um in regards to timers commands they're all self-explanatory you should be able to set these up no problem um now these are the good ones um so first and foremost um you don't <laughs> Because kick is very new, there's not anything out there from what I've seen so far in terms of being able to implement your graphics and your overlays, which will have updates for new follower, new sub, etc., etc. So the way that I have done it, as you can see here, let me just switch back to scenes. As you can see here, I have got um, all of these graphics here. But more importantly, you'll see the free ones, the free alerts down the bottom. Let me just, because you won't be able to see that. So you'll see down the bottom here in the boxes, I've got three different ones um, as my as my um, new follower, a gifted sub, and subscriber. Okay. Now to get these, all you literally have to do is very simply for each individual one you have to do a uh, so this is what you're going to see um so this is my last follower salty savage is my last follower what you're going to do once you've done all of this how you want it you will then press copy that will then copy the url you will then simply come over to your obs you will then press on um the add a source and then as you can see here i've just named it follower if you go to properties it will have the url directly in here and that's what it looks like and obviously you can change it however you want 
um but that's that's what it will look like on your screen um and for you and you just do these individually and you have to have a separate one for every single stream now you might be asking how did i get these graphics that are on my that are on here um you'll see the call of duty um background etc um basically what you're going to see is in the description i will put a um link to a thing a site called i think it's fuzzy designs um on there you can have let me just bring it up for you right now where is it fuzzy yeah fuzzy designs it's called if you haven't seen it before this is what it all looks like my cables really done my head in right this is what you'll see so let me just go back let me just go out here so you've got a webcam one you can have a notification one notification bar you just got all your notifications you can have your socials bar right here um you can have a health bar for war zone you can have just your screen starting screen another health bar and a stats bar and a qr code as well um it's very good i'm going to link it in the description it's down to you to then go in and change it and do whatever you want with it once you've done it um you just press install it will then come up with a, a url at the bottom again same as always you do url you copy and paste it go onto your obs add a scene as a browser so um source you then copy and paste it into the year or url box and then that will be your um box there for whatever you've set up all right now <clears throat> like i said you do have to do one for every single individual one so you just go to event labels for that in specifically so let me come back here okay now um there's a couple of other things that i wanted to let you guys and show you guys what you can set up and one is mini games as you can see here one is called b jewel now this is what you'll see as a preview all you've got to do is go through the whole process here again exactly the same url into a browser source on your scenes for obs and then you implement how you want this to be set up right here and then this is what you'll see um on your screen kick as well at kick and twitch so you can integrate everything on it i love that little game though that's sick um and what people will see on your screen when you're streaming and obviously it's down to you to determine how where you want it and obviously um how big you want it on the screen and what scenes you want it on etc that's all down to you all right um another thing i would highly recommend that you set up which is not very far behind um twitch and that is your channel points now you have a ranking system on here um it will show you how many points people have got i don't know how it's calculated because i haven't really looked too much into it i just implemented it straight away and the reason i do that is because you do have a store implemented as well i haven't done and set up the store yet but it's probably something i'm going to do as a separate video in the near future once i know um how to do it myself i'm pretty sure it's very easy to set up i just want to know every bit of information about it before i do implement it on there and then you'll be able to see a little pop-up in your um in your chat when someone's gone up a level for chatting in your stream now your level is based on how much you chat in the stream so the higher level that you have the more that person has chatted and, and and obviously interacted with you and other people in chat which is absolutely brilliant because they do need recognition for that because that's what every streamer wants in their stream um now the other thing you don't have to do anything with that you literally just have to uh click to have it set up 
what was the other thing that I was going to go over? Um, you do have a point system. What I would say to you guys is pay close attention to uh, your commands. Because I don't know if you realize this, but automatically in your chat, if you do exclamation commands, it will come up with a prompt of variables which are available in everyone's chat which is all of these right here so you've got exclamation mark followage exclamation mark followers uptime uh the top level what level that person's at um the xp in the chat watch time all of these are all standard regarding obviously apart from socials these are all standard already in your chat already implemented without you having to do absolutely anything it's literally all in there for you which is absolutely brilliant um i'm trying to think if there's anything else that i have added myself obviously you've got your subscriber goal which now does pick up subscribers you just have to make sure you pop in so let's go into it you need to pop in what subscribers the initial amount that you're starting on so if you've already got subs before you're setting this up make sure you start it on how many subs you're on what you want your goal to be and how long you want the duration of the goal to be for um that's obviously up to you and then you type in here what you want this to say i have mine as sub goal and then you can have the text font and how you want it to actually look you can change this about in the colors etc all right and i think apart from that is basically everything um now if people are wanting to know how to set up their own custom alerts then please pop in the comments below and let me know that that's another video that you would like to see because i would like to do a dedicated video for it if that's what people want if it's not absolutely fine i won't obviously waste my time with it but if there is people out there that do need the help with setting up their own emotes because they don't want to use botrix's own ones and they haven't got any media on their computer or they don't know how to use that in media on their computer then please let me know in the comments and i will obviously upload that um video for you guys as soon as i possibly can do probably by the end of the week to see and depending on how this video goes but apart from that guys i think i've covered off everything um that there is at the moment these are things that are coming soon roulette slots and gamble which i don't think will be far away be considering as a gambling sort of uh company that owns etc so i don't think that will be far to get people into the mood and get people actually gambling on the site wouldn't surprise me um but yeah if there's anything else that you guys would like to see a video on make sure you let me know but um and apart from that if this video did help you out make sure you smash the like button and um hit that subscribe button if you're new around here and turn your notification bell on to all so you never miss an upload for me in the future but till next time guys that is me done peace